Hello everyone, this is Marky Joe 1990 and uh, today I am taking on a special request given to me by BB Hood 217 Some of you know him as Baby Bonnie Hood. Um, and he is the creator of this character, Yoma Komatsu. He also created a Baby Bonnie Hood for Mugen as well, but that's irrelevant. Um, in any case, um, some of you have, may know that I actually fought this character in the past, and I may have said that she was cheap, or that, or I said something negative about her, and to be honest, I feel that the only reason why I had those sentiments were because I was influenced by the people I was around at the time, and because she has a, had a ridiculous guard string. But... This is an updated version of Yoma Komatsu that was done in 2009, and Baby Bonnie Hood wants me to give a review on the character and, you know, say whether I think the character is cheap or not, I guess, and say if the character is good or not, I guess. So, without further ado, let's go kick some guitar face. I should probably mention that I am not going to play as Yoma Komatsu because I'm just not good with her. So, I figured that the AI, who has a better idea of how to use Yuma Kamatsu, will be able to show off more of her attacks. And therefore, more content. Anyway, damn you, Yuma Kamatsu, and your bar notes. I don't need them in my face. But what you need in your face is a Kung Fu Palm. Except when you do your freaking move that makes me go away. I will fix that by giving you a face full of not that. Get away! Okay. Hoo-ha! Kung Fu combo. More like Kung Fu ass kickery. That really didn't make much sense. Hoo-ha! Come on. Oh, damn. And she got me with a guard string. Um, I have actually tested out this Yoma Komatsu before I did a video on it. Uh, so I generally know what I'm up against. Like, I already knew how to fight her, because I've fought her before, and she really isn't all that hard. But I mainly wanted to check to see if she still had the cheap traits she had in the past, and I'm going to say this right now, I don't think she does. Like, I tested her out, and she no longer has that broken guard strength anymore, which is really the only reason why I thought she was cheap in the first place, like, personally. That was a close one. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if I can show off a bit. Hooah! Yeah! Showing off! Good for the health and the soul. Wow. I, I took down like half her health and she didn't get to retaliate until then. Hooah! Oh, come on. Come on. You can't face the Kung Fu Palm. Except now. Holy crap, monkeys! She's comboing the hell out of me. And now I'm comboing the hell out of you! Except not. Oh, damn. What the hell's happening to me? Wait, hang on. That was supposed to be a Kung Fu Palm. A triple one. I guess I messed it up. <clears throat> oh, well. Um. Well. Let's see. The... The art style of this Yoma Komatsu came from, I believe, a video game made by Konami, according to the README. So, I guess you possibly saw her on TV, Kung Fu Man. Um, but in any case, um, let me give my opinion of Yoma Komatsu and her current update. Um, to be honest, the only trait that I found cheap about her in her previous updates was the... Like, a specific guard string that I felt was really unfair because she had very little cooldown time uh, in between guard strings, so she could basically just start up another one and just keep going until your health is either low or you just fall for the guard string. But I have tested this guard string and it seems it doesn't work in that way anymore. You can, you can counter attack after it. So, and you have plenty of time to do that too. So, um, this is no longer a problem with Yomo Komatsu. And because of that, I do not think she is cheap anymore. Um, and as for the quality of the character, I think she is an excellent character for Mugen, and that most people should have her in, in their rosters. The reason why I say this is because, firstly, 
Um, she has a very large move set, which you can, which you know, I like having like lots of options when using a character. Um, that's why I like Shiroto's Racing because you have like all these options of what you could do to counter the enemy, and it's really useful for taking on cheap characters too. But Yuma Komatsu is supposed to be a balanced character, whereas Shiroto's Racing, well, it's not exactly very balanced. <laughs> Though I do plan to get a balance patch for that, so keep an eye out. But anyway, um, yeah, she has a very large move set. She has a lot of supers. Um, and she has original sprites. Even though a lot of people claim that her sprites are crappy, I beg to differ. Like, they're not superb, but they are passable. And I do feel that people should shut the fuck up about it because, really, he made all the like, sprites for Yoma Komatsu, which, to me, that's a lot of effort. I mean, adding all these new moves and those sprites is a lot of effort, and I don't even know where I got the sounds from. And, you know, having all those strikers, and I'm just babbling now, but hey, bottom line, Yoma Komatsu is a very good character, and I believe that Baby Goodbye Hood did a very good job with her. And I am sorry for the things I have said in the past, Baby Bonnyhood, um, to you and to your character. And with that out of the way, Marky Joe 1990, exploding in three, two, one, BOOM!